Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are let's playing Ark the Lad. And in this episode, we're going to go into the, uh, as, whatever, the Highlands. But, um, this is a post-recorded episode due to the fact that, um, uh, yeah, the, uh, I don't know what the hell was going on, um, with, uh, this, this episode, or at least not this episode, but this, uh, I don't know, with this, with this, Battlefield. I don't know what the deal is, but it kept lagging on me, and you're actually going to see quite a bit of lag. Well, not quite a bit, but it's going to pop up every once in a while. But, um, <clears throat> I decided just to record the battle, and then I'm going to post commentate. And I don't know if you can notice, but I, I don't really notice, but there's that I have to lower the quality. It just wouldn't record on fraps for some reason. For whenever I, like, it looked fine, and then I hit record on fraps, and then you get this huge lag. Anyways, we, uh, and then, uh, I don't know, me and Veteran0121 are actually looking into what's going on with it, but it, I decided that I was just going to kind of go through it anyways, so that I could, uh, you know, you know, continue with the story, I don't want to leave you guys hanging, you know, leave, because I was just going to stop the LP until I figured out what the hell was going on, but I figured, let's just record and get this episode in. So, uh, yeah, post-commentary. As you can see, Chungar here, he's an interesting character. He, um, he can actually, what he does is he can, he's got this summon pot which he can summon two guardian. Well, right now it's two guardian guys. And he can summon, um, two guys right now. Keelak and Monefly. Keelak is a healing monster. And Monefly is a guy who, uh, who, uh, he, uh, he makes platforms and stuff so you can jump over to other areas. But, uh, yeah, right now my strategy was to kind of get everyone together. So that I can, uh, yeah, so let's summon Keylack here. But anyways, my strategy was to keep everyone together because these monsters are actually quite tough. Uh, and actually I did put in a code, I'm not gonna lie, I, I did put in a code, a cheat code, um, to get infinite power apples. As you can see right here, I've got 99 of them, obviously I only had one. And what power apples do is they, uh, raise your level, which is pretty sweet. They just, and so I can use that to manipulate my levels. Right now, I probably will not abuse it. I will try to not abuse it as much in this battle. But, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, I'll try not to abuse it too much in the battle, but I do plan on using it quite a bit near the end of the game where I can, uh, where I can really, um, where I can really bring up my monsters and stuff because. The cool thing about this game, Ark the Lad, is is it's sort of like Sukoden, if you ever played that game, um, where you can, the, it's the stats, because these characters will be in Ark the Lad 2, alright, spoiler alert, but um, they will be in Ark the Lad 2, and actually, if you, if you level them up all the way, and get all the items and everything, those things carry over to the second game. So it's pretty sweet, and actually, they will not, they will not be really big powerhouses, like you're thinking, like, oh man, level 99, these guys, actually, I think level 50 is, or 60 is as high as we can go, and when you re actually get these monsters and stuff, in the, in, or get the characters, they're actually, um, they're actually around, you get them around level, you are around, like, level 40, so they're not, like, super more powerful or whatever, if I can remember correctly. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to abuse this just a bit. But yeah, I don't know, from me looking at this, this screen right now, the, the quality doesn't look too bad, but... Man, oh man, was it bad looking in my eyes there. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, I apologize. I mean, I don't understand why it was lagging. It was... I think it's a fraps thing, like... Or, or it could be because, I don't know, if this... If all these, like, things in the background are, like, little layers and everything, I, I don't know. But anyways, let's talk about the game. Alright, we got we got a couple cave bats here. We got a couple of, uh, rock monsters. dun 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 Rock monster. do 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 Rock monster. Yeah, we got three stone jackals, seven giant bats, and one stone golem. And the stone golems are actually very, very, uh, Strong to uh, magic, and let's use one of these. Why not? And uh, yeah, Kukuru and Poco are actually on very low levels. 
The uh, bats are weak to fire, I believe. As Gogan has his um, um, magic. And yeah, these guys really like to block a lot. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. So yeah, Monefly, he made this guy, he kind of looks like Cousin It, because that's supposed to be hair, and then he's, he's kind of like a, a, a cross between Cousin It and a spider or something. And then you got these Healy, these like little midgets, little midget monsters, they heal. They're very good. So now we have three healers in our group. Four, four healers. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll be getting more monsters, guardian monsters, and they're all really good. They're all, they're all fairly good. Like, I remember someone was saying that he, he or she likes the fact that, um, that in this game, you know, all the characters are fairly useful. The only one I feel that isn't as useful is probably Chungara, just because he doesn't really, like, he's not specialized in anything. He's just there to summon monsters and whatnot. Yeah, as you can see, those bats are weak to, uh, fire. Freaking die already. And actually, in, in this game, Tosh is my favorite character. So you might see me, um, <clears throat> kind of, uh, prefer, favor him a little more than, uh, other characters when it comes to, like, taking out monsters and this, that, and the other. Just because he's my, one of my favorites. I mean, who doesn't love a red-haired samurai, really? And he's pretty badass. He's got a cool robe with flames. And we got Kukuru here with her PJs. Yeah, I don't know what the lag is here. I was getting Veteran 0121's help, uh, but by the time I upload this video, I don't think we've found an, uh, uh, a reason why I was doing this. The only thing I can think of is all these things in the back. That's seriously the only thing I can think of. And I don't know if there's any more battles that are similar to this where it has all the lava or whatever in the back there. I don't think so. But yeah, uh, these bats, they can hit pretty hard. Um, yeah. Let's heal you three. Yeah, so the, those Keylac things are like three little, um, little midget monsters they can heal. That's, like, that's only, that's one thing that's kind of bad about the Guardian monsters, is that they really only have one, um one skill. Well, I think some of the other ones are a little more advanced, but the, the two that we get right now are, are kind of alright. Well, actually, I think they're very good. I think they're very good. Oh, only one? Let's use the explosion. Yeah, wait until Gogan gets, like, level 2, level 3 spells. Then he'll be awesome. The only thing I have to say about him I don't really like at this point is that his his range is fairly low. So he really can't do anything. Anything cool. Ah. Yeah, see, I don't know why there's so much lag. Probably because, uh... I think it's probably just because, like, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, the game... I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, uh... Could be my computer. That's the only thing I thought about. Uh, in the essence that... <clears throat> I don't know. In the essence that... Um... I don't know. My computer has been acting funny. It, it's always acting funny lately. I don't know why. It's supposed to be a beast. It should be able to handle all this shit. But it doesn't. But whatever. So let's just have Chungar continue to level up. His attack power is nothing good, his speed is nothing good. 
I guess if you really thought about it, he he could as well he could be a meat shield, I guess. But the nice thing about him is let's say one of your guardian monsters do die in battle, Chungara can just summon them back. Like no problem. So that's kinda nice. It's almost like you can like if if you you can use you can actually use the guardian monsters as meat shields maybe against like magic users. And then they get hit by the magic, and then the magic user guys run out of magic, then you go in for the kill. So yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do with these guardian monsters. As long as Chungar has the MP to summon them, you're pretty much set. And Monefly, he's actually, he actually does get very strong by the end of the game with the, with the levels. And let's see if I can throw a rock over here. No, I can't reach it, damn it. I can't throw a stone at a damn thing. And let's have Tosh over here so that, uh... So that, uh... <clears throat> no, I can't reach it. Damn it. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's make this platform down here. There we go. And we're just gonna wait here. We're gonna we're gonna actually I know this is kinda the boring part of the strategy games where you kinda just sit around and, and do absolutely nothing, but <clears throat> we're gonna have Monefly make some platforms here. And the pretty cool thing about making the platforms is that you can actually you can actually jump like from one platform to the other. Like you'll see in a, in a moment here. And, uh, yeah, you see, he can actually jump over there. That's pretty sweet. And, uh, the nice thing about him making platforms, too, is you can use them to, you can use them to access monsters that might be out of the range. Like, you can use, like, you can, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It actually is a very, very cool monster. Like, you think, when you get them, you're like, oh, make platforms. What the F is that all about? But actually, he's very, it's very, he's very versatile with the things that he can do. And I want to say we can jump over there. And I guess I gotta make a platform here. And then I can jump across, which would be pretty nice. Let's show off, uh, Divine Judgment here. I have no idea what you just said. And apparently, uh, you're not gonna be hurt by that, either. Alright, Tosh. You come in there and you kill those jackals. Those stone jackals. And we pick up a revival tonic. Alright, Ark can jump over there. But yeah, once again, I apologize for this video being... It might even be... Not, might not even look the same as the other videos, but what are you going to do? Can't win them all. And Kukuru is dead. That might actually end up being a theme. So yeah, watch out for that. So jump. Let's go back. Got to make a couple more platforms and collect the other two treasures. Three, actually, at this point. Alright, oh no, Ark, go back. And there we go. We gotta wait one more turn. Hey, right. yeah, this is a part I'm sure you guys probably don't really care about, but... It's gotta get done. I gotta grab these treasures. And look at this jumpity jump. Over there. And then we wait here. And go again with the explosion. And okay. Yeah. All right, we got a magic leap. I want to say though that that increases your magic power. Oh. Uh, all right, so we gotta go over here. And uh, just stop. I guess Tosh can't jump over anyone. I thought Tosh had the jump ability. Oh well, use a power apple. 
thanks. Anyways, let's just have Gogan wait here. And just continue with the, the slowness that is the movement of the monsters and all that. Let's move you out of the way. Move you here. I don't think there's an item or any, any kind of ability that you can use to, um... I don't think there's an item or ability that you can use to really increase your range. Let's try explosion again. Nope, nothing. Still terrible. Alright. Bring it. Oh yeah, there we go, Tosh. Killing off another guy. And we just wait here while Ark comes back. And, uh, yeah, Gogan here. Let's have him go over here. And you make a platform here, because then I can have someone jump over there and, uh, and hit him with a, hit it with a rock. And then I won't have to go all the way. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? And yeah, it's a good thing to level up your, uh, <clears throat> oh, we better help Tosh out over there. But it's a good thing to level up your monsters due to the fact that, uh, no, 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 no. You keep going this way. Anyways, it's a good thing to level up your monsters because the first, they actually have throws and counter t and uh, catches and all that stuff too. So it's good. The first levels, they actually gain those. And we get ourselves a power nut. Man, this guy won't die. Boo doo boo boo doo boo boo doo boo doo 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 doo. Uh-oh. Don't die, Tosh. Please don't die. Don't die, Tosh. Oh yeah, there we go. You're dead now. And we got ourselves a counter bracelet. Oh shit, I can't even heal you. Alright, Poco, you gotta get in there and heal him. And yeah, he has a he has a new heal level two where you can heal. Uh, he's got a bigger range, but it's still kind of tiny healing thing. All right. There we go. Now we just gotta get that last treasure over there, and then kill the boss, which is a fire golem, oh, which is a golem, I think. I'm just gonna have Tosh position himself over there. And Gogan, you can join him. Let's have you use a power apple. Oh, yeah! There we go. Let's go, Ark. Actually, poke. Oh, I want to use a power apple. Actually, no, no. Let's use a power apple. All right, let's continue here. Power apple from Chungara. Chungara eating them apples. Getting that fiber. Make another floor. Yeah. And let's go over here. Sure, use another power apple. Yeah, it's good to focus. It's good to get these guys up some levels. Yay for more levels! Boo doo 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 doo. Speed Ocarina goes up a level. And not only do those things, not only do they go up levels, like, but they actually increase in effectiveness. So let's say. Uh, you had, uh, Poco's Battle Drum, right? No, I don't want to end my turn. I want to make a floor. There we go. So, Poco's Battle Drum, now it'll do, like, it'll finish, it'll work in a larger range, but it'll actually bring up the attack power even a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, and I apologize for kind of, uh, <clears throat> abusing these apples right now, but... So 
we get the final item, which is a Rico Grass. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, not too bad, thank God. Yeah, Chungar is actually my least favorite character out of these uh, guys. But I like. I do like. Uh, <clears throat> I do like his uh, guardian monsters. They're much better than. They're much better than he is, that's for damn sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Tosh. Tosh caught whatever that guy was throwing. And now we actually have that in our, in our inventory, which is kind of neat. And actually, there's a way that you can catch it and then throw it back at him, which is pretty cool, too. That's the whole catch-throwback thing. Let's take him out. Oh, not dead yet. All right. Oh, he throws it, and Tosh throws it back in his face and kills the golem. Look at that. We win the battle. And Tosh is da gets a deity fish. Fist. Fist. Anyways, we beat the battle of lagginess. So in the next episode, we will meet the Light Guardian. Bye-bye.